It's Saturday, June 15th. Let's play the Booster Box game. How does this game work? Well, I'm gonna be opening up a booster box of Modern Horizons, and I'm going to try and get $200, which is what I paid for the box. If I can get $200 in rares, mythics, and foils, then I will sell those cards and go down to my local game store and buy another box. I'll keep opening boxes until I open one that is not worth what I paid for it. Will I open 10 boxes? Or perhaps just the one? One. Let's find out. As always, I need cards to have a value of at least $2 each in order for it to be worth my while after seller and shipping fees to actually sell the cards online. Currently, snow-covered islands are going for about 85 cents each, and while scale-up and generous gift is about a dollar each in terms of uncommons, there's really nothing in this set besides rares, mythics, and foils that I am going to be able to get $2 each for.
Wow, I did not even make it to box two. Been a long while since that happened. What a dud. I was thinking to myself, how am I going to pad out the time? I should open up another box of something. Should it be another Modern Horizons? <laughs> no. What I want to do is open up a Japanese language box of War of the Spark and see just what I'm going to get in here in terms of alternate art planeswalkers. For those of you who don't know, in War of the Spark, they have a 50% chance that a planeswalker will be an alternate manga style art. I am going to open up this box. I was able to get it via a friend in Japan, and let's just see what it's worth. Oh, but first, what am I going to do with all of those snow-covered islands? Well, I figured that since I've got so many snow-covered islands, thanks to this box, that these are going to be my gift to new patrons at the $10 level this month. Patreon is a very important way that keeps this channel going, and for those who pledge $10 or more a month, I give a one-time thank you gift of a signed magic card. Since snow-covered islands are in such excess and accessibility right now, I thought this would be a fun, great card for the month. So if you want to help this channel out, as well as get a signed card from the professor, go on over to patreon.com forward slash Tolarian Community College and help keep this channel going and growing strong. Now, let's crack open that Japanese booster box. So I got this right around the time that War of the Spark actually released. My friend was in Japan and she was able to pick me up a box for $120 US. These are a little little harder to get in the US right now, and the price on eBay that I'm seeing for them is $180. I only have the one box right now, so I'm not cracking multiples. I'm putting 120 bucks up on the screen since that is actually, factually, what I paid for this box. But if you want to go by the price of what they're selling for on the secondary market, that's about $180 according to eBay.
Well, I guess I could buy another Modern Horizons booster box if I sold all the cards from my Japanese War of the Spark booster box, but <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, but buy another Modern Horizons booster box. Remember, booster boxes are for draft. They aren't going to get you the cards that you need to play the decks that you want to build. The best way to get those decks together for modern or standard or even commander is to buy the singles that you need, preferably from your local game store. Try and support this great game by spending your money where you spend time playing Magic the Gathering. You're supporting your Magic the Gathering community. And this program was made possible thanks to a sponsorship from Card Kingdom, as well as the Patreon support of viewers such as you. So thank you.